Hi, I want to welcome you here to Clark's Painting and Remodeling. I'm going to give you some tips on how to paint a, a door that's in oil base. Oil base and latex are totally different. So in, in an oil based door, you got to do it in sections in order for it to turn out right. So first of all, you dust the door down, and then you take and you start on your, on your inside panels here to uh, hold the door with your foot. And uh, you follow the, the pattern, you follow the texture pattern of the door, the grain, and once you get the whole section painted, go back and pull it down. I always like to come across here. You got to do section by section, otherwise the oil-based paint is uh, going to set up on you too fast. And, uh, and it's going to be a fiasco. Uh, these are just practical steps when, you, when you're doing an oil-based door. You notice I brushed it all out, and then I came back and drove the line straight and uh, the pattern of the grain. So I come down here, go to the next section, and then I come here, and I'm going to do this out to there. And, uh, and you come back, so you still got a little bit of time, and then you just keep going. Dip the brush in there in the, in the oil base paint. And uh, if your oil base is, is uh, setting up on you too quick, it's getting, it starts dragging, you need to thin it down with some paint thinner. And that'll help uh, give you a little bit more longevity with the paint. See, you notice I brushed it all out, and now I'm coming back and straightening it out, and then move on to the next section. You gotta do section by section. That's the only way oil-based paint is going to work. Now, latex is a lot different, but oil-based, if you, especially on a hot day, if you don't do section by section, it's going to set up on you, and you're going to have uh, the, your door is not going to turn out uh, the way it should when you're brushing oil-based. It's going to look really bad. So, these are just practical steps that you do when you're painting a door, and you notice. I brushed it all out, followed the pattern of the, of the grain, and now I'm ready to move on to the next section here. See, I'm almost down to the end. Just keep going across. <clears throat> you have a little time, a little time to... And then, notice I'm coming back here doing the same thing. I'm repeating myself. Uh, put that paint on there. Just brush it in. Four or five strokes. And then notice I brush it all out. Now I'm going to straighten it out. Straighten it out. And then you just keep moving. Keep moving. You got to move pretty fast. You know, on a real hot day, it uh, just so happens it's not so hot outside. Uh, we're, even though we're on the inside, uh, it's not going to set up as fast. So these are just practical tips that you can do that'll help you um, paint a, paint with oil-based paint. This we're using Sherman Williams um, high gloss enamel 200 finish line of paint. Now. I got all the inside done. I'm going to do the bottom here, and then I'm going to do the side. You got to be careful that you don't touch the floor with the enamel. You got to pay attention to what you're doing, otherwise you're going to create trash, and you don't want to do that. You notice I dust the door down before before I got started, and uh, so now I'm ready to do the sides. See, I still got a little bit of working time here. <clears throat> You'll pay attention to uh, your brush and trash because enamel, when it dries, it dries. It, it's got a harder finish than uh, latex. And, uh, it, uh, that trash will dry in there, and then you have to sand it all back down and then redo it. So it's better to just uh, keep a clean brush, wipe it down, dust it down, 
and you notice, see how I'm doing it? I brushed it, brushed this one side out, and now I'm going to go across the top, and uh, these are just, and come back here, tips that you can do to, uh, to do your oil-based paint here, and this is uh, the steps that we do with our quartz painting. We're going to paint the hinges. Uh, because throughout the rest of the house, the hinges are painted. Normally, we don't paint them unless uh, the rest of the doors are painted. So, uh, these are just steps to take uh, doing oil-based paint. And uh, I want to thank you for stopping in and to Clark's Painting and Remodeling in uh, Frisco, Texas. Uh, I want to thank you. And if you'll do these steps, I think you, your doors will turn out just like mine. I want to thank you. God bless you.